there he is. There's that ivy sore. Let's see what he's at. The event is live. Check it out, that's the new screen over there. It's looking very, very cool. Right now, there's a there's this area that's fairly lured up. Oh, whoa, look at this. Check that out, there's a graveler right on uh, sightings. 783, that's actually not too bad. Let's see if we can catch him. Now, there is a trick side to this event. The, uh, the tricky side right now is that starters are really, really hard to catch. So it would make sense that there will be a lot of these uh, holiday presents with uh, extra Pokeballs and Ultra Balls and Great Balls. So I think that was a really smart on the antics part. So incidentally, don't use up all of your Ultra Balls and Great Balls. Um, I mean, Charmander, Starters, you know, they're all really cool, but they do happen to take up a lot of Pokeballs. And if you're not buying stuff, you're just gonna go through all your Pokeballs. So. I happen to have this Master Ball. A Master Ball. I'd rather use an Ultra Ball and a Great Ball and a Graveler as opposed to catching starters with it. Let's see what is it. Ah, here's room for battle. Still, a Graveler. If you guys are wondering why all of these Pokestops were lured up, it's because uh, there's a place that's going out of business, Carnegie uh, Deli. And here we got the news out here. Hey, it's uh, Eyewitness News. Here, let me show you this place from the. Uh, outside there it is carnegie melon delicatessen it's basically like uh there is a very very famous uh deli called cat's deli and uh they just make a whole bunch of uh, you know roast beef sandwiches so i don't know who lured all these up look at this line though All right, guys, I'm on my way over there. And look at this, a 1476 Electro just popped up. That was a nice electrode, actually. That's the highest one I've ever had. 1476. Let's check his IVs. He has Tackle and Thunderbolt. I think the uh, Tackle is a uh, high DPS. It's pretty decent. We got a uh, really nice Charmander, 518. Let me, uh, I'll check the IVs on that later. I am at Gap. Here, I just spun these Pokestops, and there's a uh, Slowpoke over here. And as you know, we need them from Gen 2. Here's Gap. Nobody's here. Hi. Did you guys get that ride on earlier? Go ride on! There was a ride on here earlier. He was at the fountain, but I was very far. I was just at Carnegie uh, Hall, and I definitely didn't want to run for him. So, incidentally, you miss him. Okay, this guy has uh, room for battle. I'm gonna keep him just because he's a really high CP and come slow king uh, we can uh, we can use him. Thank you. Check this out guys, I'm gonna get these chestnuts here. This guy has all kinds of food, huh? Some donor, his chicken. subs this is unbelievable for a moment there i was like i felt this real strong like accomplishment here for a second and i was like man <laughs> dreams come true yo i can't believe it. this is amazing i appreciate all the subscribers guys and just watching the videos and taking a moment to leave a comment i know a lot of you guys are leaving comments and it's something that i'm not used to Yo, we hit a thousand subs. Let's go. Let's go. We made it. Da, da, da. Nigga, we made it. Today is just going to be a very simple day. Uh, I'm going to get back home and I'm going to start picking up all the uh, <clears throat> like the winners for the giveaway. So I appreciate you guys getting me to a thousand subs. So I'm going to just claim a few coins today, if not, not too much. I really wanted to go into the city, but 
I, we're like cooking a whole bunch at home. And I gotta go shop a little bit. I gotta go get chestnuts. Because remember when I was out in the park, I had some. This, fun, this event is actually really fun. It's kind of like it brings back when you first started, you know, seeing all the starters. And there was an episode in, uh, in the Indigo League. I think this was already Generations when Ash goes into the mountains to try and kind of rekindle his fire. Gathering the gang of four. I think going up in the mountains will help me be able to do that. And at the same time, it'll help me to find my own style of battle in as well. For wanting to be a Pokemon trainer. If I, I, I have the, the video saved like in my YouTube watch list, so I will leave a link below. And so this is what it's kind of doing for me, you know, it's kind of like, let's appraise this guy real quick though. He's really strong. That's good, actually. Here, we'll hang on to him for a little bit. And what, so what it's doing for me is it's kind of like reminding me of the first two weeks I've been playing Pokemon. Uh, because starters was just such a big focus and, you know, wanting to get a Charizard, getting wanting to get a Blastoise, a Venusaur. Uh, I remember, we used to run for those, like a Venusaur. Like we would run like six, eight streets for him just to catch him. And I remember when I missed my first one, it was like raining out and I just got off and I had an umbrella and I was like trying to run with the umbrella and I was trying to vlog and I was like, yo, this is ridiculous. But that's what it is, you know, Getting to trying to get these Pokemon. I want to show you guys all my catches from yesterday. We got a Bulbasaur yesterday, got a Squirtle, Abra, Jinx, and I got another Bulbasaur, got a Pikachu, I got a 77 Execute, I got an 1141 Pony Eater, which is really, really high. We got a Bulbasaur, we got an Eevee, which is, uh, we're gonna need those for Espeon and Umbreon. Let's see, we got a Magnemite, Slowpoke, Charmander, another Charmander. Let's see what this guy is at, actually. Uh, none of them really had good IVs, like some of them had strong ones, but they were mostly just weak, so I, I might keep that one. And I got this really uh, uh, Beast CP uh, Electrode, and I think he had room for battle. Uh, he's decent which is just above room for battle. So you see, they're not very, very good. Now, I'm at 234, so I might have to uh, transfer some of these. Uh, we hatched a Hitmonlee. Now, this guy had, I mean, you know, hatched uh, Pokemon have good IVs, but, I mean, he's still kind of, you know, strong, so that's, like, not the best. Let's see, what else do we get? Grav Graveler was a, an OP catch, because as soon as I got off the train, uh, he was there. And I'm not gonna really do anything with him. Maybe I think I'm gonna put them in this gym. So here, let's uh, let's go in and take this gym. Here, let's just go in with whatever it suggests. Wait, actually, no. All right, here we are. I just went in with whatever, <clears throat> just to take this Pokemon down. All right, there we go. I just claimed the gym. That the Vaporeon is very strong. It was a 2900 Vaporeon, and the Pokemon I were using were uh, fairly low CP. So 240 will probably give me storage space but I'm gonna save it I'm gonna stop buying stuff for like I don't know for like a month or two I'm not gonna just worry about incubators because I usually spend them on incubators This uh, this chocolate one. I'll have like three of the corners, so I'll have one of those. Yeah, and then uh, the strawberry one. Golden Sand Cafe. Yes. Okay. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Here's the store, and they have chestnuts. There's this guy looking at them too. You gotta, you gotta press them. Yeah, I know. See, they're empty. Look at that. See what you do? You press these like that. We found our winner. It's gonna be these ones. And I just, I squeezed as many as I could. And you see, they're not soft. Some of these are out. Mm. 
Nah, I don't think so. Chestnuts is the only thing we came here for.